Hello everyone and welcome back to You Forensics. In our previous videos, we have discussed types of crime scene, types of evidence and crime scene processing. But what happens after it? Once all the evidences are collected from the scene of crime, the investigating officer submits them to a forensic science laboratory for analysis. Forensic Science Laboratory is an organization which helps in analysis of the evidences related to the crime. The vital assets of a FSL are scientific officers also known as forensic scientists. Other than scientific analysis of evidence and generating a report based on it, the forensic science laboratory and the forensic scientist also serve purposes like demonstration and training to judiciary and police, assistance in crime scene investigation, provide expert testimony in the court of law. Transfer of evidence at forensic science laboratory. First of all, Sealed evidence along with forwarding memo mentioning details of evidence and query from I.O. as well as essential documents are all sent to FSL through authorized messenger. Based on nature of evidence and type of examination required, the evidences are divided and then sent to different divisions. Evidences are then analyzed by forensic scientists in respective labs and report is prepared mentioning observations and opinion of the expert answering the query asked in the forwarding memo. After analysis, evidences are reseen and handed over to an authorized messenger along with the report. It is very important that at each step, chain of custody is maintained. Unlike what television programs portray, forensic lab scientists and technicians are specialized and can process one type of evidence. Which means, there are different divisions in a forensic science lab which are specialized in analyzing specific type of evidence and can answer specific type of queries asked by the investigating agency. Typically, there are three main branches of forensic science, physical sciences, chemical sciences and biological sciences. Based on these scientific fields, a forensic science laboratory has several subdivisions. Forensic physics, this division deals with the examination of paint, glass, soil, fiber, thread, ropes, cloth pieces, etc. The chemistry division deals with the cases of NDPS, fire and arson, alcoholic contents in liquor samples and corrosive chemicals in acid attack cases. Toxicology division mainly deals with the examination of viscera for the presence of alcohol, pesticides, phosphide, metal, cyanide poisoning and drugs. Forensic biology and DNA profiling unit. This division includes the examination of biological fluids, also the examination of hair, bone and tooth. DNA profiling of these biological materials, diatom, microbiological and entomological examination is also done under the supervision of this division. Forensic document. It includes the examination of handwriting, signature, type scripts, ink, rubber stamp impression, seal impression, counterfeit currency notes and many more. Forensic ballistics. This division handles the cases of suspected weapons, linking the fired bullet or cartridge with the suspected weapon, range of firing, etc. Forensic Explosives This division includes the examination of explosive material like detonators, improvised explosive devices and various other chemical substances which can cause explosion. Digital Forensics This division involves the analysis of digital evidences such as hard disk, USB drives and extraction of data using powerful forensic tools. Forensic Fingerprint This division examines the question fingerprint impressions, visits crime scene for chance prints, develops latent prints, prepares specimen 10-digit fingerprint of accused. Forensic Psychology This division performs tests like polygraph, narcoanalysis, brain mapping, etc. Forensic Photography this division provides the assistance in photography of crime scene and can provide an opinion on question photo prints. Forensic Anthropology This division deals with the examination of skeletal remains such as long bones, pelvic region or skull to get the information related to the stature, sex, race or age. New emerging divisions in forensic labs are Forensic Odontology It involves the analysis and evaluation of dental evidences. Forensic Pathology it is a branch that deals with the principles of medicine and pathology for determining the cause of death, 
and also the examination of injuries to identify the type of weapon used. Forensic nursing. It is a branch which deals with the victims who have been into any kind of trauma, violence, abuse or sexual assault. Forensic accounting. It is a combination of accounting and investigative techniques which is used in several crimes related to finance. Forensic animation. It is the use of computer graphics to reconstruct or recreate an event occurred. Forensic engineering. It applies the principles of engineering to investigate the mechanical or structural failures in the legal activities. Forensic facial reconstruction. A face of an individual is recreated from its skeletal remains by a combination of anthropology, osteology, anatomy and an addition of artistic skills. Forensic linguistics. It is a branch of applied linguistics which presents the language as an evidence in criminal or civil cases in court of law. Forensic seismology. It is the study of seismic waves and the related technology to detect the distant phenomena of explosions like nuclear weapons or underground nuclear testing. Marine forensics. It deals with the legal issues which includes the marine life or any incidents or accidents that may involve any water body. Forensic podiatry. It deals with the study of foot, footprints or footwear marks. Forensic geology. It deals with the trace evidences found in the earth in the form of soil, oil, rocks, minerals or petroleum products. Forensic archaeology. This field involves the investigation of scene of crime to identify the sites where the victim's body, personal items, weapon of offense or robbed items are disposed or buried. Forensic limnology. It is the analysis of evidences collected from the scene of crime in or around freshwater resources. After analysis, laboratory results are sent to the investigating agency. Test results eventually lead to crime scene reconstruction. Evidence analysis can link a suspect with a scene or a victim, confirm verbal witness testimony or even acquit the innocent. Please drop your queries in the comment section or reach us on our different social media handles.